Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. Now I know it's been a minute since my last figure unboxing, but I did just get a package from Kotobukiya. Now they said these figures are gonna be some event exclusive or summer exclusives that you can find at the upcoming Anime Expo and Comic Con. Now I've never been to Comic Con, which I know is, I gotta change that at some point, but I do try to go to Anime Expo every year. So super excited to see what figures are gonna be unveiling there and we get to have a first look. So let's just get into the unboxing. All right, let's open it up. Mm, ooh. All right, taking a first look, it looks like there's three figures. First one, Star Trek, yes. Yes, I have the female Spock, medical officer. Looks really, really good here in the box. Second, we have oh, the Transformers continuation. And the third one is Lilith Morgan Recolor. How stunning, I can already tell. So three figures in this video. Let's take a closer look at all three of these beauties. Now we're gonna first start with the Autobot Cliff Jumper from the Transformers line. I already have three figures from this series, so super excited to continue the collection. Now, looking at the box itself, there's a 15th anniversary of the Bishojo line. That is so cool. I can't believe it's been 15 years already. The Bishojo line has some of the most gorgeous figures, including a lot of original characters, which I appreciate. So Cliff Jumper already the expression really really cute. I love that the base is very compact. The shoes are adorable. I'm really enjoying this red, purple, blue color scheme that's going on here. Let's take a look at Cliff Jumper in all of her glory. This outfit is so adorable. I almost want to make one for myself. It's just that cute. I think Kotobukiya really nailed the overall vibe and the essence of Cliff Jumper. The figure looks like she's very daring, she's very bold, she has an attitude and some spunk. You can tell from the expression on her face, her pose with one arm flex, the horns on her head, and the holster of course on her thigh. I think they really nailed the overall characterization and bringing that to life in this figure. Now overall, I'm so happy to finally add another Transformers figure into my collection and let's bring her out and put her with some of the other ones. So here's all four of them together. They look amazing. The colors are so vibrant. So I first started out my Transformers collection with, of course, Optimus Prime. And then I got Nemesis Prime, which I love the recolor here and the giant sword, of course. Then we have Megatron looking very sassy. And finally, we have Cliff Jumper with the smallest space, which I really, really, really appreciate because I'm running out of space in my office. <laughs> so here's all four of them together. They are fabulous. Moving on to my Star Trek figure. This is Medical Officer. I am really excited. She looks so, so cute. I love the art that she is designed from. I don't know if she is based off a specific character from the series. Um, I don't believe so, but I could be wrong. Pulling her out of the box, I immediately noticed how shiny her hair is. It's very pearlescent. I hope it holds well over time. But overall, oh, gotta get rid of this piece of plastic. And yeah, very voluminous hair. I love the little medical device that she's holding. And taking a look at her 360, she doesn't look too different in pose from the female Spock version, the science officer. Um, I think that's by design, so no real complaints there. I think she's really, really cute. She has kind of a flirty vibe going on, maybe an innocent flirty vibe. You know, can I check what's going on in your ear maybe? Or whatever else it is you need checked out or scanned, she's the girl for the job. <laughs> she's really, really adorable and I'm just excited that they're making figures based off of Star Trek characters. I love Star Trek. I didn't watch the originals, but I did watch the one with Chris Pine in theaters and it was so good. <laughs> 
Anyways, here are the two of them together. The female science officer, aka female Spock, is still definitely hands down my favorite of the two, but she's cute. She's very cute. Glad to have them both. Moving on to the final figure of this video, here is Lilith from the Dark Stalkers series. She is in the Morrigan recolor, so this is going to be my fourth figure in this series that I have in my office. Let's open it up, another limited edition figure. Now a lot of Kurobukiya figures don't require assembly straight out of the box, which I super super appreciate, but they're always well packaged. The gleam on her bodysuit is so beautiful and oh, just these colors, they are so vibrant, so beautiful. I think it complements Lilith very, very well. The wings are a masterpiece for me, the texture on the back and also in the wing, like the front of the wings, you can see all the veins. The purple is so rich and beautiful. And of course, similar to the other Lilith figure, her face is perfect. I love how bright her eyes pop. The wings on her head are also super, super cute. If you are a fan of Dark Stalkers, I think Kotobukiya really nailed it. Let's take a look at my collection of them. So of course we started with Morgan in her original coloring. Stunning stunning and then here i have lilith in her original coloring also beautiful and then i got morrigan in lilith's coloring i think also stunning and here now we have lilith in morrigan's coloring Ugh, it's full circle i love this love this so much here is the lilith versions together and next we have the morrigan versions together I don't know which one I like more to be honest, they're just all so beautiful. I guess it's hard to go wrong when the characters themselves are gorgeous. <laughs> I wish I had way more space in my office because it just keeps filling up. But thank you so much again Kotobukiya for sending these three figures for a first look. If you're interested in picking any of them up and will be at Anime Expo or Comic Con this year, check out their boots for sure. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye!